Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are packing for my nine month cruise contract. I have my suitcases all ready to go here. So let's do this. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jesse, and I am a performer currently working with Disney Cruise Line, and I am getting all geared up to head back to my next contract. I'll be leaving tomorrow to start my sixth DCL contract, and I am so excited. I have two months of rehearsals, followed by seven months on board the ship for a total of a nine month contract. Packing for these long contracts can be a little bit tricky, but I think I finally have myself all sorted out here, so I wanted to share with you what I'll be packing packing, how I like to pack my suitcases, and a few tips and tricks in case you're currently gearing up for a cruise contract as well and you need some guidance as to how and what to pack. So before we dive into what I'll be packing, although I leave for my contract tomorrow, I did start this packing process about a week ago. I just started kind of pulling my ideas and laying them out. I've had to put back a lot of things and really think about what I know I'm going to actually need and actually use on this contract. So when I started, I made this master packing list. I'll give you a look up close. I go through just some of the different clothes I'm going to need, shoes, my electronics, toiletries, and then all the things that make a lifestyle at sea feel normal and possible. And then just a few other important things like paperwork, passport, name tag, all of that. Starting with my clothes, as a performer, we have two months of rehearsal and then we're also constantly in our rehearsal and athletic gear on on the ship so that is kind of the priority of what I need to pack I don't want to have to be doing laundry every three four days so I have quite a bit of this this is where it probably looks like I overpacked but I'm so grateful that I have all of these items starting over here these are just some shorts and some sweatpants I have some t-shirts and tank tops that I can wear to rehearsals these are all of my sports bras I have leggings here I have a couple different leotards also some pullovers and zip-up jackets moving down here I have all of my dance shoes and rehearsal equipment starting with my shoes I have some jazz shoes along with my character heels and I'm bringing a spare pair these are not my really nice shoes like I have my Leducas here but these ones are actually pretty comfortable and I just like to have a variety because these are three inch heels these are two inch heels that way when my feet need a break I can just switch into these shoes in this pink bag here, I have like my physio equipment, so I have things like my waistband, knee pads. I got these really cute pink knee pads, which I thought would be really fun. I hope that they're thick enough to do the job, but I thought they were pretty cute. And I have these resistance bands for like just strength training and conditioning in general, as well as these little massager balls. These are really nice. You can use them for your feet or your back, whatever. This is probably one of the best things I have. This is like this back massager. It's just so nice. Okay, so these are essentials that I'm packing. Staying in the line of essentials, I like to pack lots of undergarments and lots of socks. I think that this is really useful, especially once we're on the ship. Doing laundry is not the easiest thing. Sometimes the machines are not available when you have breaks and you just don't want to run out of all of your undergarments. So this is something that I would say pack extra of. I have probably about like three weeks worth before I would need to do laundry. So yes. Lots of that. I also just ordered some new white socks. Again, trying to avoid having to do laundry as much as possible. These are for work, so when I'm in my greeter uniform, I have to have the white socks on. So I just wanted to make sure I had plenty of these so I'm not running out before a shift. So along with the uniform comes some shoes. So I just got some new work shoes, but I'll also show the shoes I'm bringing for just life in general. So to go with those lovely white socks, I have these new white tennis shoes. I'll also be wearing these just around and in life. I have these black flats for when I'm in my nighttime greeter attire as well as heels if I just want to dress it up but then I can also wear these with my real clothes. I'm packing some nude heels, two different colored flip-flops and some tennis shoes. So we're also using these for rehearsal but I can use that to go to the gym. And again all of my rehearsal attire can double as my gym gear when we get onto the ship. So that about covers all of the rehearsal essentials. Let's move on to my regular clothes 
clothes. So I'm trying to keep it as simple as I can, things that I can rewear and mix and match with as many things as possible. I have some blue denim shorts, regular dark blue jeans, black jeans, and these white kind of like pedal pusher ankle length um, trousers so these are pretty cute too and then I'm trying my best to reuse and rewear as many of my real clothes as possible so let's take a look at those next so I wanted most of my clothes here to be acceptable for wearing in guest area and following the Disney look here is a quick look at everything I have this Roxy dress which I think is really nice for cruising it's full length this BCBG dress which is a wrap dress which I think is really great from going from day to night which is really nice for being in guest area this Harper Heritage kind of jumpsuit which is really fun and I can layer different colored shirts under this that way it kind of gives it a different look depending on what shirt I have underneath it as for my shirts I'll just give you a quick look here we have this one which is nice and fun flowy I have a classic just white button-down shirt I'll probably be wearing this traveling so I'm going to iron this and make this look nice and fresh this little button up here which is pretty cool these are some of the tops that I could wear under that jumpsuit so we have just a little red turtleneck and a green turtleneck. I could also wear them just on their own too, so fun to switch that up. And this nice tropical looking button down shirt. I just love having a nice blouse. I think it's really cute because it's classic but it has these fun tropical flowers. I have some fun kind of going out clothes too. So I have this little bodysuit. This has some fun ruffle sleeves and I could pair this again with any pair of jeans. I also have this little crop top. It's really cool. It's almost this like washed gray color. So I thought that these two would be really nice kind of going out looks. And again, I'm just gonna rotate between the two. So the next things are kind of for in port. Here's this little two piece. The top is really cute. And then these are just little shorts and I think that they are so fun. Again, very cruisy. I also have this romper that has little seahorses on them. And this could be a cute outfit as well as a swimsuit cover. Up. I'm packing these two sundresses here. So they're both floral. They both have like flowy bottoms. And I thought this would be really nice again for going out in port or I could pair them with a blazer. So if I'm trying to make those sundresses look a bit more business attire so I can wear them on board the ship, I have a yellow blazer and this navy blue blazer as well. So these could go over the sundresses as well as just a tank top and some jeans to kind of dress it up and make a kind of business casual look for my Disney look. And along with cover-ups for anything else, I have a black cardigan and my trusty denim jacket. I would never go on a contract without this thing. So there you go, that's kind of the general wardrobe I'm gonna be working with, but I can't forget any special occasions. So while I'm on board, we'll have opening night for all of our shows. I'll have my birthday, we have Christmas and New Year's and Halloween as well. So I did wanna pack a few items for those special events. I didn't really want to go shopping for new items because I really love my current wardrobe as it is. Once I've worn these for those said events. I can always rewear them for more formal events around the ship. So I'm thinking this dress for opening night. I'll have a New Year's look. Nice little number here. My birthday dress. Here's option two for either birthday or opening night as well. And for Christmas, I was thinking this really fun jumpsuit. So I have all of my special holidays planned here, along with my Halloween costume. This is so extra and so unnecessary, but again, I just didn't want to have to buy it while I was at sea. There are all the pieces for my Halloween costume there too. I also have some Christmas shirts and pajamas, just so I can feel in the holiday spirit when the time comes. This is a little koozie, and inside is a soap dispenser that I've put my Christmas jewelry in and some Halloween jewelry, along with these super cute Halloween mini ears. I just really wanted to have something festive that I could pull out when the holidays are around. So you also have things like pajamas and robes and things. So I'm bringing three different pairs of pajamas and an eye mask. So I really like to have one of these on the ship, especially for taking naps midday. Since we have roommates on the ship, it's really helpful in case they're doing something in the room and you just want to take a little nap and it'd be dark. So I love this. It matches some of my pajamas. I'm also bringing my silk pillowcase here. This is mostly just for skin and hair protection, plus it's really soft and I really like it. And then this little thing is like a beaded, weighted um, eye mask and it smells like lavender. I got this in Alaska last year and you can put it in your fridge. 
and then just take little naps with this over your eyes too and it feels really good. I've got two swimsuits here. You could bring more if you like. I just thought I would go with these two, just simple one pieces. I don't tan, I don't like to be out in the sun too long and I figured if one is wet, I can wear the other one and just swap them out. I also have a few accessories to go with these outfits, again, just to spice it up, change it up a bit. So I have some scrunchies and headbands, this cute, sun hat. I used to bring like the big hats but the problem with that was that I felt like when I would bend them they would lose their shape and then they just didn't look as good from packing them. So I like this one because it's already floppy but it has a big enough brim to protect my face from the sun. And I also have these baseball caps so I like to wear these either in port but also in between shows when my hair is in like a wig prep. It's nice to have a baseball cap to put on when like going to dinner or something. Other accessories of course would be jewelry. I have this great little jewelry box box here that I've gone ahead and just put all of my jewelry into. There we go. So I'm really trying to keep it simple. It's kind of fallen apart now, but I have earrings and rings in there and some like charm bracelets and things in here. Necklaces are tucked away in there. These are the things that I will be wearing on my flight. And then these are super cute. They are little Chip and Dale jewelry cases that I can keep in the dressing room. So if I wanna take off my rings or earrings for the shows, I can just pop them in one of these and they will stay protected and they won't get lost. One more thing before we move on to like toiletries and other essentials, but I have these robes. They're just these short little dressing gowns. I have two of them here and I like to bring these for the dressing room as well as these little headband things that pull your hair back for when you're doing your makeup. So I think I'll pair this Winnie the Pooh one with the red and this little pink bunny one with the black one and then this polka dot one can stay in my cabin for when I'm getting ready there. Let's move on to some of the like toiletry essentials. Starting with makeup, I have a lot packed here, mostly because I'll need them for the shows as well as for just like daily life. So I've pretty much packed kind of like every palette that I own. I got this really cool villain eyeshadow palette. I thought this would be fun maybe for the holidays and stuff, um, but I also have some more classic palettes as well. My favorites are these Too Faced ones. I have one in my carry-on bag. These are just really nice, pretty, colors. I think this was the Christmas collection. You can see I've used this one a lot. I have a bunch of fake lashes for the show and then just pretty much everything else. A little brush cleaner, lots of foundation and blush. I have waterproof and regular mascara, eyelash glue. Basically just any kind of makeup thing I had that was still good, I wanted to pack and bring along. And I like to keep some in my cabin and some in my dressing room station. So that's why I have packed so much of that. I also have a lot of makeup brushes and in this little case here. Let me roll these out for you. Again, it's because I like to have them in the dressing room and in my cabin, but I thought it would be fun to decorate these because they were all different in their base, so I put some washi tape over them. So I think that they look super cute and they all match. I'm also bringing my hairbrush, some curlers. I'm trying to use less heat on my hair so it'll grow better, but I am bringing my curling wand, straightener, and airbrush wand. Jumping over here to my toiletries, I won't walk you through through all of these, but you can just kind of see an overview of what I like to have. Plenty of makeup removers, and I've tried to get these little eco ones that you can reuse. Lots of soap and shampoos, face lotions, just kind of all of the essentials. That way I don't have to buy them right away. But some of these products are things that I already had, and I just really want to use them up before I get new. I also like to bring a sewing kit, again, with re-wearing the same clothes for nine months. Sometimes you get little tears or seam rip so I like to have something like this. I also have a first aid kit that has some icy hot, some band-aids, some medicine, just kind of the basic things in case I start to not feel well or need to recover from a long day at rehearsal. Here's another essential item. I, oh, yeah, oh, what's the matter? You don't want me to go? Oh, I wish I could bring this little guy with me too. So these are just kind of my like snack essentials to get me started before I do any kind of grocery shopping. I have some different bags of coffee. So I'm bringing a pour over that I can use on the ship as well as this really cool cold brewer that my roommate got me a few contracts ago and you put the coffee in the bottom there 
and then you put it in your fridge for like 12 to 24 hours and you have cold brew. So I thought that would be great since we can't have coffee makers in our room, pour over will have to do. Um, this salad dressing is just to have in my apartment in Toronto. I have some Hershey Kisses just for some chocolate and these are tea bags. So I just packed a bunch of different bags of tea. I put these in Tupperware, that way I can use the different Tupperware for my lunches while in rehearsal, which I can pack in this really cute Disney Jujube lunchbox. Okay, this might seem kind of weird, but inside I've packed just some protein powder, some nutritional yeast, and then these are just a bunch of spices in these little mini bags. That way, when I'm in rehearsal, we're only there for two months, and so it doesn't make sense to buy a bunch of big spices, so I just put them in these little bags. Again, in a Tupperware that I can use to pack my lunch in in Toronto. I also have these little fold up shopping bags. In Toronto, you have to pay for your shopping bags, so good to bring those for rehearsals. And it also is really good for just extra bags if you need them um, for anything on the ship. This is this really cute Disney Cruise Line Tervis wine glass. I have this and a wine opener that I'm bringing. Here's a little thermos. I like that it has this screw on lid that you can attach to it and I can bring my coffee you know, to the rehearsal studio for lunch. It kind of matches my lunchbox too, which I really like. Water bottle, this is kind of a smaller one than I normally bring, but I think I'm running out of space. I love having lots of water, especially on the ship and in rehearsals and everything. So if I can fit more of a water bottle in here, I will. If not, I might have to get a larger one um, like once I'm actually on the ship. That way I can have a big one stored in my room. We'll see. I have a Hydro Flask that's like 48 ounces. I'm hoping I can squeeze that into a bag, but we'll just have to see what the weight allowance is. And lastly, a coffee cup. So this will be to have coffee in my room, either the pour over or the cold brew. And it's super cute. Speaking of coffee cups, this is a little Bluetooth speaker. So this will be fun so I can listen to music on this little speaker and it doesn't take up much storage. So we're kind of wrapping things up with the packing here. I do have all of my electronics and chargers. Don't forget your chargers, that's super important. But I'm bringing all of my camera gear. I also am going to bring my Nintendo Switch and my Kindle. I like to have an ebook over paper books only on the ship just because they take up so much space. So this way you can read and I also have the fire so I can download shows to it and watch that in my cabin as well. Already packed away in my carry-on, I do have my notebooks for rehearsal along with all of my important paperwork, my wallet, my passport, very important there. So I've just put this in my case already. I'm also bringing a backpack which will double as my dance bag for rehearsals and it can also be a beach bag if I want to get off in port and do some exploring. Also going in my carry-on, I have some pens in here and some makeup. I have my sunglasses. Very important to have sunglasses on a cruise ship. I also have this book light and these coloring books, so I won't be bringing all of these, but I thought this might be fun to bring a coloring book. I need to grab some colored pencils as well. And then lastly, I have a few fun items for my cabin. So my friend made me this a few contracts ago and I can put my name badge on it. It. It's magnetic so I can stick it to the door or the wall because most of the walls on the ship are magnetic. I also have a bunch of magnets that I can bring just to put um, any important paperwork on the door or hang other pictures. Speaking of pictures, so I've kind of already prepped these but I got a bunch of pictures printed and I've put them on this cool kind of floral twiny rope and this way I can hang oh <laughs> I can hang my pictures on the wall and they're already ready and set to go um, I will show you that eventually once it's all set up in my cabin and I brought some little things to put them up with I also packed some fairy lights so let's see ooh ready to go so I can put those next to my bed. And I'll just tuck them all into this little mesh bag here. The last thing, and I promise this is the end, you're probably thinking that this is way too much stuff to fit into a suitcase, but um, these are only little things. I have this Disney Cruise Line name badge so I can put like my crew ID in here. It also doubles as like a little wallet. Um, and I also need my name tags. It's been waiting to be used for almost two and a half years now. So excited to be wearing that name badge again. So let's grab it off the Disney shelf. Dun, da, da, dun. She's back, baby. So that is all that I will be packing for this contract. 
Now it is time to fill up the suitcases. I have a pretty good method here, and to be totally honest, I've tested this out before to make sure that the weight limit is okay. I've added a few things, taken away a few things since then, but fingers crossed we will still be within the weight limit, but let me show you how I'm planning to pack everything. Okay, so in the largest of my London Fog suitcases is my toiletries and kind of those lifestyle essentials. I have my my makeup case and everything kind of tucked away snug here and then the more loose items on the top that way then when I'm rolling it around they will be secure by these things down here I also want to add my little baggies of other toiletries here so I forgot to mention it earlier but I'm also going to be bringing the hangers from those pieces and packing them in this bag as well. I really like the hangers that I have because they're those really thin, non-slip hangers. That way I can, one, pack more into my ship closet because it is pretty small. They lie nice and flat. And two, I know I have enough hangers for all the pieces that I'm bringing. So I'll be packing a hanger for everything that was on that rack, plus one or two extras. So speaking of my clothes, I have everything here on this rack, plus all of the athletic wear that I showed before, all going into this medium case. So I position this so you can kind of see what's going on. My favorite packing method is to roll up my clothing. So I roll pretty much everything that can be rolled and then I just kind of pack them in like little logs. So I'm gonna roll up some of these and I'll show you the finished product. This is going to hold all of my clothes. So I am saving one leotard and one pair of leggings and putting them in my carry-on just in case I lose my luggage. That way I have something for the first day of rehearsal. I'll be packing my shoes in my carry-on as well. Hopefully nothing will happen, but I just wanna be a little bit extra prepared just in case. <sighs> just the garment rack to go. All right, we have made it in. I've just folded my jackets and put them on top, but everything else is rolled and tucked away. I forgot to mention this earlier too, but also I'm packing a laundry bag and I definitely recommend bringing one of these on board too. That way there's a place for all the laundry in a tiny cabin. So I went over where all my toiletries and lifestyle things go in the big bag, clothes in the medium bag, and then over here I've already started filling it up, but I am bringing all of my shoes, purses, and accessories in this rolling carry-on bag. So I have all of my undergarments, socks, my pictures to go in my room, again more things, shoes, slippers, purses, handbags, belts, and then I will also put some of my hats in here, there they are. And we'll see if this can zip up and stay tiny. I just finished filling this one up. I mean, it's like playing Tetris. Everything in there is just nice and snug. And another recommendation too is when you know that these things have a very tight fit, kind of make a mental note or actually make physical notes as to what's in each suitcase. That way you know where to put things again like so for example we're traveling to rehearsals and then we have to travel again to the ship and i'm gonna have to do this whole packing process one more time so it's really good to kind of just take a note as to what's in what that way it won't be stressful when it comes time to repack now for the moment of truth we must weigh the bags yes this is reading like 45 46 it is still heavy though and now for the big one Oh yeah, 43. So that is successful packing. Oh, this is great. So I actually have a little bit of wiggle room if I need to put anything from the carry-on into these cases if it doesn't fit. But I think I'm gonna end this packing video here. I might mess around with it a little bit more, but oh, it's such a relief. There we go, we are all packed for a nine month cruise contract. I am pretty proud of everything that I managed to fit into these suitcases. This might seem like a lot to you. This might seem like very little for nine months, but either Way, I hope you found this interesting in seeing what it's like packing for so much time away. Before we wrap up this video, I do have a few tips as well. I don't know if this is like this for every cruise line, but we are responsible for getting our bags up and on the gangway on the cruise ship. So be sure that if you are bringing more than one or two bags that you can physically manage that. So I have this strap thing and I'm able to stack my carry-on on top of my medium-sized bag and then this little bag 
has a little zipper in the back so it can slide on the handle as well. So it's two really big bags, but I could manage those together, one in each arm. I mean, it's big, it's heavy, but just know your limits if you are packing for a cruise contract. Just prepare to deal with your luggage a lot and know that you might be having to schlep it around a lot. Another useful tip is that you probably will not need as much as you think you do, especially when it comes to wearing your normal clothes. It is work after all, so a lot of the times we are in uniform or in our show costumes, so when we're in our own clothes, it's really okay to just keep rewearing the same thing. Pack lots of basics though, socks, undergarments, all that, so you don't have to do as much laundry on the ship. And lastly, just remember your heading to a cruise ship you're not going to outer space or anything like that i'm very lucky that i have this two month rehearsal period should i need anything i'm in a big city so hopefully i can get whatever else i need and then also on the port days when the ship is in port you know hopefully we'll have shore leave but we can always get off and grab a few little things that we need here and there as well and the real worst case scenario is that you can always have something mailed to the ship order it online don't panic if you are trying to fit everything that you need for your lifestyle in your cases and it's just not working. You can always get it later on. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for tuning in, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. This time tomorrow, I will be in Toronto with my new cast and I am so excited to meet everybody. I'm so excited to unpack these bags as well. That's, that's gonna feel really good. I can't wait to share more with you, but in the meantime, take care. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.